Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the uh, update on the update <laughs> if we wish. Um, basically uh, this is a video to kind of tell you why I feel that the November 2019 update is the update that everybody should go to. And you'll understand probably a little more about it was I um, actually mentioned what happened with this update. So now we know that it is called the November 2019 update. We know that it will be available in the first half of 20 uh, of November 2019. So sometime in the first half of November, Microsoft says it's complete, which is kind of interesting. It is available for those that wanted before in the release preview ring. And of course, there will be a cumulative update that will be added to this for sure because it's probably still being uh, tweaked and fixed. And you know, so if you want it now, you can get it now. You pretty much have what you will have in November. And uh, but it's still not even for insiders. It's still not uh, that number, that bill that we have right now that is actually the one that's going to come out. It's a cumulative update, once again, so it's a smaller update than the previous updates. The reason why this actually probably should be the one that you want is because this one is a different type of update than what we had like in the May 2019 update. Rather than being a big major release with new features, uh, tons of new features and um, you know bells and whistles everywhere that you can tweak and, and change and you know UI change and so on it has very few new features this update actually they sat down and started focusing on fixing as many bugs and as making it the most stable Windows 10 version possible and so that's where it shares the code with the May 2019 update that's why it will have the same cumulative updates every time the May 2019 update gets an update. The November 2019 update will get an update. Their bill number are very close. The May 2019 update is 18362. This one will be 18363. Just tells you that they are very, very close in build number. But they have and will have done thousands of bug fixes and tweaks within the May 2019 update. So think about the November 2019 update as the, let's say it fairly, as the May 2019 update should have come out probably uh, with a lot of bug fixing in there. They really focused on every bugs they could find and try to uh, you know, tweak it to make sure that it's not there when this gets there. It's also one of the reasons they're taking a lot of time because they are actually checking it out. It is apparently this week going to be rolling out to PCs of employees of Microsoft. So they will also add their own observations and tweaks in there about what um, you know might still be wrong with the system. Which means that technically this could be the version of Windows 10 you want to be on. It will be the one where everything has been fixed where everything is working well and you'll have the added bonus of now if you get the November 2019 update of being on a cycle where you can stay there for 18 months so that means that you will have more than a year and a half of you just gonna stay there if you want you don't have to move on to 20 H1 the next version early 2020 you're just going to have this uh, big update so it's really kind of a service pack for the May 2019 update if you want that has tons of fixes which is exactly what they wanted to do here and I think it has to do with a lot of the ranting and a lot of the comments that people have been having and they want to kind of you know push the image of Windows 10 into a more positive side of things um, even though the May 2019 update itself was pretty good in its release it's still, uh, you know, the cumulative updates that came after, some people had problems and so on. It's, uh, well, all of that should actually be a thing of the past with the November 2019 update. And let's hope it is a thing of the past. 
So that's why you should actually move on to this version when it's available. Once again, it's going to be available to everybody as a optional download somewhere in the first half of November. No official date yet, just first half of November. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.